Hey everyone! This episode is the start of new series called CSS Tricks. This will be short videos showing you interesting things that can be achieved quickly with CSS. Today I want to show you a cool effect called Drop Caps. It can give your content a stylish and elegant look. I am Michal from mdbootstrap.com and without further ado, let's jump into the code. In this tutorial, I will use Material Design for Bootstrap, which is a free library that greatly extends the capabilities of regular Bootstrap and provides many useful features, like for example, better look, additional components, free templates, and even a free hosting for your projects. To download Material Design for Bootstrap, go to mdbootstrap.com and click big blue Get Started button. Then click big red Download button, and unzip the package. Then open it in your favorite code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. To launch MD Bootstrap project, you need to open it in the browser. You can do it simply by dragging and dropping index.html file into the browser window. If you use Visual Studio Code Editor, you can also install extremely useful extension called Live Server. It enables a live reload feature, so it will refresh the browser anytime you change anything in your code, so you don't need to do it manually. At the beginning, let's remove an existing content of index.html, so that we have an empty canvas ready to start new project. Select everything in between the Start your project here comments, Remove it and save the file. Now we are ready to start our work. Let's start with creating a container just to add margin to the left and right to our project. And let's also add margin Y5 to add some margin to the top and to the bottom of our project. Then let's create a card and card body inside and then let's set a maximum width to the card to max width let's say 60 pixels next let's create a style tags and let's set a background to the body to some light gray so we can increase the contrast and that our card could be better visible i uh, sorry um background color hsl 0 0 percent 95 percent and now let's center this card with a use of flexbox actually you don't need to do this because it's not uh, the main part of our tutorial i just like to do it this way but it's a matter of taste. So to center to center the card we need to add the flex class to enable the flex box and then justify content center. Our card was reduced to the size of a point but after we add some content it will stretch again to the maximum width 600 pixels. So let's add a paragraph and let's add some lorem ipsum, let's say 100 words should be fine. And now we come to the heart of this tutorial, drop caps effect. So to apply this effect, we need to add a class to the paragraph. Well, let's name it drop caps. So we'll use this class to style our paragraph with a custom CSS. So let's catch this class here inside of our style tags, drop caps. To grab the first letter and to style it, we will use a pseudo selectors. First child and first letter. And with this syntax, now we can write our 
custom CSS that will affect only the first letter of the first word. So let's increase the size of this letter to, let's say, 75 pixels. And now let's float it to the left. Now let's add some margin to the top, not margin, but padding, padding top. Let's say four pixels and padding left three pixels and padding right 14 pixels. And now to align it to the top, let's add line high 60 pixels. And the last thing we want to do is to change a font family. And I would say that Georgia suits really good to the drop caps effect. Now it looks very stylish and very elegant. It reminds me of old school beautiful hardcover books. By the way, did you know that thanks to MD Bootstrap you can use free hosting for your projects? We call it MDBGo and it's really great. Visit mdbgo.com for more information. In the description of this video you'll also find a link to the detailed tutorial on how to use MDBGo hosting and how to install MDB CLI, which is a fantastic and free supporting tool that provides many useful functionalities. Now, let me just show you how easy it is to publish our newly created project on the internet thanks to MDB Go. I already have MDB CLI installed on my computer, so now all I need to do is to run my terminal and then I need to enter the path of the project I want to upload. So here is the directory where we have downloaded the MDB package and where we have been working during this tutorial. So let me just copy this path and let's enter this. And now I need to type only a single command MDB publish and I will choose NPM package manager and then all I need to do is to choose a name for my project. I will name it drop caps. Then I will accept all other options and after a few seconds my project is available at this link. Let's see if it works. And yes it does. Super fast and extremely useful. That's it for this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial.